Trout and Holden manufactures a wide variety of specialized carbide tip tools. Some of those more specialized tools are in the form of our hammers. One example is our bushing hammer. This is our dual head uh, carbide tip uh, bushing hammer uh, that has two different tooth styles on it. One for more aggressive material removal and another one for, for more delicate material removal uh, or harder stone. Designed that way to give you more options and added versatility. Uh, with that hammer, uh, you really want to make sure that you're following best practices to maintain um, the hammer in its best condition and you're getting the most out of the hammer. Another uh, version of our bushing hammer is a rock pick um, where we put a bushing tip on a Vaughn brick hammer with a carbide tip in the back for uh, trimming and chiseling. But one of the things that you really want to make sure that you keep in mind when you're using this hammer is that you're making nice square contact with the stone. Um, this is particularly important when you're working with harder stone, like granite, um, for instance, uh, or harder limestones. So to demonstrate the contact that you're really wanting to make and trying to avoid as well, this hammer should be coming down square with the surface of the stone. You really want to try to make sure that you're making even and square contact as best as possible with this hammer. And because it's used generally for roughing up uh, edges or removing high spots, the tendency to overswing will lead to the hammer coming down in contact with the stone uh, and where one edge is uh, tipped up and it's making a leading edge contact unevenly with the surface of the stone. This is going to lead to chipped teeth, uh, cracked carbide, um, or uh, a failure in the weld altogether. Uh, similarly really with the uh, chiseled end of the tool, again added carbide for added versatility and prolonged durability, but you want to make sure that you're coming down and making clean contact with the stone that's nice and square. Chipping with the corner, if you're trying to use it as a hand point for instance, to remove a high spot um, is going to leave the tool susceptible to uh, chipping in the carbide, cracking, or failed weld altogether. Again, you really want to make sure it's coming down cleanly and evenly with the stone to get the most out of these hammers. The other thing to keep in mind that's important with this particular hammer um, is the maintenance of the chiseled end of the tool. It's generally used more aggressively as it's used and worn out. The carbide becomes to wear and become rounded over, uh, which is natural for the, uh, for the use, um, but you want to make, make sure that you're maintaining that factory edge. So regularly grounding the tool so that you're restoring the like new condition of the carbide is important um, because the harder or the rounder the tool becomes, the harder you have to strike it to make it function um, and the more pressure you're going to be putting on the weld, more susceptible it is to a failed weld or a crack. Um, these hammers come in a variety of weights and, uh, and shapes and uh, chisel tips. Um, we offer the variety because we believe that every tool is designed with a, a specific purpose. You know, that covers our rock picks and our bushing hammers.